Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Genesis G80. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Genesis of Linden, Utah, for giving me some time with this car. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then, on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 that goes through an 8-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town and then 25 on the highway with power outputs being 375 horsepower and then 391 pound-feet of torque. Now, before I move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you can see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the Genesis logo there front and center, and it's got kind of like a boxier look. And then just like other Genesis models, we got the split light design, and then I love the coloration here with the grill, and then I like how you've got that blacked out element at the bottom. And putting it all together with this silver paint, and you can see a little bit of the red interior, it pops. Now around the side here, our turn wheel setup is 245, 45, 19 in the front, and then 275, 40, 19 in the rear. You can see with the wheels, you've got the silver mixed with the metallic gray. You've got the black with the Genesis brake caliper, which I think looks really sharp. Got the turn signal indicators on the side as well, and then I like this little trim piece at the bottom. Also, you've got some more nice trim around the windows. And then here's your full side profile with the G80. Now taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We got the opening for the trunk, remote start, that's to turn on the lights, and then the Genesis logo on the back. Now taking a look at the cargo space in the G80, it is quite spacious. Not as big as the G90, but still really practical. When you're all done, you actually have this button you can press, and that'll lower the trunk lid right back down. Pretty cool looking taillight design here, and then you guys can see the rest of the badges. Got parking sensors there at the bottom, and I like the covers over the exhaust tips. And putting it all together, let me guys think about the looks here with the G80. And then taking a look at the door panel, you guys can see soft touch here at the top, and I like the trim down below, and then look at the two-tone design there, and then also with the window control, that's really nice. And then taking a look at the seats, you guys can see perforated all down the center, really cool design. Now the seat is pushed back a little bit, um, but still legroom's really good, we got a little storage pocket here, we've got our own climate zone here in the rear as well, and... You guys can see we've got a cup holder armrest, also have heated seats here in the back, that's for the sunshade. This is a pretty cool little center console setup. I like, like the kind of theme they've gone for there. But anyways, headroom, it's good. Now taking a look at the front door panel again, soft touch here at the top. We've got blind spot mirroring with the mirrors and then I like the trim down below here and then you can see the one with the red. Love the speaker there for the sound system too. That's pretty fancy looking. All of our window controls here, the mirrors do power fold in. Got your memory seats on top of that. And then here's the front seat again, that cool design all down the center. Power adjustments on the side, we also have massage seat function as well. And then look at the pedals right there, that's nice. And then you guys can see with the auto stop start, the stability control, and then I like this trim here, and then same thing on the dash with the soft touch. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see you've got soft touch here at the top and at the bottom. you got some red stitching as well. Perforated on either side so you can get a good grip. Paddle shifters there on the back for the 8-speed. We also have controls for like our adaptive cruise control, steering assist, volume, and voice command controls. And then your regular stocks here on the back. And then taking a look at the gauge cluster, you can see it's partially analog, partially digital. You can scroll through some different menus there in the center. And then we've got the different drive modes. Got a little lightsaber there in the sport mode, which is always fun. And then in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. Um, and this does have the 360 camera system, so you got this cool exterior view. It's part of that whole camera suite. And on top of that, uh, as for the rest of the infotainment system, uh, just like other Genesis models, very responsive touchscreen. You can also control it. Here's a little bit closer look. You can also control it via a dial if you don't want to use the touchscreen functionality. Like I said earlier, a soft touch here on the dash goes across, and I like the vents, how it kind of goes across in line and the trim down below. Dual zone climate controls, we also have heated and ventilated seats up front. And then nice soft touch on the glove box, good storage space as well. And then underneath this little tray is what I'll call the charging area. Got quite a bit happening in there. And then you got analog controls here for the radio and also for the infotainment system. And then we've got our dial shifter here. You can see with a little lid there. Drive mode select here with the camera system button and that's for the parking sensors. And then with the center console, Actually opens up on either side, which is pretty cool. Now I like how there's soft touch trim on the side. And at the very top, we get our control here for the 
big panoramic center. Now taking a look at the window suite, you guys can see 2024 G80, and here is all of the standard equipment. Got some options on this, including advanced package, total MSRP, $69,095, and let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the HUD, both the mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring, and throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Okay, well, I guess it's uh, Genesis day because I've reviewed three Genesis's today. <laughs> Genesis I, whatever it is. Uh, I did the GV80 first, then the GV70, and now we're in the G80. And all these cars have the exact same engine. So it's been interesting to drive the same powertrain but in different cars, because it does feel different. The powertrain itself, like with, you know, where it develops torque and everything, that, that feels pretty much the same. But, you know, how heavy the car is, center of gravity, all that kind of stuff, it does feel different in each of these cars. This one, I will say, it really does drive like a car version of the GV80. Because it feels bigger than the GV70 I just drove. But yeah, definitely, you know, since it's lower to the ground, it doesn't have the same level of body roll and everything, so it's, it's a little bit different. Very comfortable though, so I think they've done a good job with that. Gotta love the massage seat function, always a nice thing to have. I like how many like features Genesis gives you for the price, by the way. It's like a lot of automakers, it's like, oh, you want massage stuff? You gotta pay hundred and whatever, like over a hundred thousand dollars for the car. Just to, yeah, just to get that stuff, it's crazy. Got it in the sport mode now. Be yeah, smooth. I still think that GV80 was probably the most comfortable. But this is still really comfortable. Okay, we'll get on it here. Woo! It's quick. I think the GV70 was the quickest though, in terms of at least, you know, the feel of the acceleration. I think that one felt the quickest, but this is still, it's still really quick. So, it's a plus. Ah, I went through too many drive modes, and I did it again, and I did it again. My finger's too fast, there we go. <laughs> I went through all the drive modes like six times, because I just click it too many times. Take it slow when you're changing the drive modes in the G80. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, driving experience-wise, I like how this drives. It's comfortable, it's quick, it's quiet, it's a nice luxury car. And it's got turn signal cameras, one more chaos. But, but in all seriousness, like, it's a really good value. Um, you get not the exact same experience, but a similar experience to a Mercedes S-Class, but at a lower price point. I know this isn't S-Class size, right? That's the G90. But, I mean, this is still a big, bigger, I should say, bigger floaty type sedan. Um, so I guess if you want a sportier, I, I will say that, if you want a sportier driving experience with the Genesis sedan, the G70 is going to fill that, but... Yeah, in terms of just, you know, luxury stands, this is nice, this is really comfortable. Um, I know that most people are wanting SUVs nowadays, but yeah, I mean, if you're still in the sedan world, if you still like a car, you don't really care about the stuff that an SUV provides, this is a really nice luxury one. And it's, it's at a very reasonable price point considering the equipment you're getting and the performance and everything else that comes with it it's yeah surprising that genesis hasn't increased their prices a massive amount considering the value that they offer but let me know your thoughts